Dario Agger is the current CEO of Roxxon Energy Corporation, the most powerful corporation on Earth in the Marvel Universe, and aims to make as much money as possible without regard for any negative consequences. Agger is a rather recent creation. He was created by Jason Aaron and Asad Ribic, and first appeared in Thor God of Thunder number 19 in 2014. When Agger was a child, he spent quite a bit of his time with his family on their own private island in the Aegean Sea. However, when he was nine years old, his family was attacked and killed by pirates. Agger was the lone survivor. He escaped into a nearby cave and prayed for help. The next morning, a statue of a bull appeared in front of him, and he was granted the ability to transform into a minotaur. He used his newfound abilities to subdue and capture the pirates who killed his family. He currently keeps their heads alive and on display on Roxxon Island. Agar would go on to use his family's fortune to buy himself the best education available, and he would put it to good use. He would rise to the CEO of Roxxon Energy Corporation after wresting control of the company from the Cronus Corporation. His first major project would be the announcement of Roxxon's interplanetary ice pipeline, which brings ice from Jupiter and transports it to Earth to be consumed as water. However, the project would not go as planned as Thor upstages Agar by transporting the largest mountain of Jotunheim to Earth. Agar would engage in a battle of wits, warriors, and strength with Thor, slapping him with injunctions, and then plotting to have him killed by trolls led by Ulic. This would become his M.O., as he would always find a way, either through corrupt legal means or bribes, in order to evade paying for any of his crimes. He would use his army of lawyers and his own legal expertise to avoid any kind of justice. Not only would Agar avoid facing justice, but his ultimate goals would be revealed that include exploiting the Earth for as much profit as he can before moving on to another planet where he could do the same. Agar would remain a thorn in Thor's side after he acquired the skull of Laffy, the king of the frost giants. He would sign a pact with Malekith to gain the mineral rights for all the realms the Dark Elf conquered in exchange for Laffy's skull. After signing this pact with Malakath, he would join the Dark Council that oversaw Malakath's various acts of war, including the invasion of Alfheim and the massacre of the Light Elves. Agar would also face competition from competing business companies. He would be attacked by the Silver Samurai and subsequently kidnapped by the Midas Foundation. He would eventually free himself and prevented the Agar Imperative from being enacted, which would see rocks on island crash into New York City, Rocks on Island is a giant floating city. While Agar has typically been shown as a Thor villain, he's recently played antagonist to Bruce Banner and the Immortal Hulk. After the Hulk declared war on Roxxon and Agar and destroyed one of the company's server farms, Dagger recruited Zemnu in order to subdue him. The gambit would backfire. Zemnu eventually consumed Agar and turned him into a deformed creature barely able to speak. Fortunately, Hulk defeated Zemnu, freeing Agar from his control. However, Agar would go from the frying pan and into the fire as he would fall under the leader's control. Agar's story is far from over, and given his track record, it's unlikely he will ever pay for his many crimes anytime soon. If you have any suggestions for future characters of the day, please let me know in the comments below.